Hello everybody, it's me, Alec John Bell. Welcome back to Transcending Together. It's been a while since I've made a video and it feels really weird to be behind the camera. It's been a while to get up the motivation to make another video. Um, basically, long story short, I've been dealing with some mental health issues and I've also been dealing with some physical health issues like chronic fatigue um, that won't go away. <laughs> um, basically, every day I'm tired. Uh, it's like a hot mess. I'm finally getting back to writing every day or at least as often or almost every single day. Um, I'm working on a new book right now, which I'm really excited about um but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about kind of a heavy topic and i was really hesitant to do this video because i was like i was like how do i make this video uplifting how do i make this video not depressing and um then i realized that i just have to do it i just have to make this video i just have to talk about what's bothering me and what has been on my mind so as you can probably tell by the title of this video today we are talking about what uh what it means to be afraid of death and what it means when your spirituality doesn't help you um because i think that's a big topic that people don't really talk about um when you're a spiritual person when you belong to a spiritual or religious organization a lot of the times people tend to think that you just have all the answers or that you think that you have all the answers um i know a lot of christians who just wholeheartedly a hundred percent or like I'm going to heaven that's all there is to it and they have no doubts in their minds and I am envious of the people that feel that way because uh I as a Christian witch wish that I could feel that sort of comfort uh, that other Christians feel about heaven um I haven't made a video about this yet, but I don't personally believe in hell. Um, I've done a lot of research about hell and I've come to the conclusion that I just don't believe in it. Um, I do believe that there is some sort of afterlife. I do believe that there is a so-called heaven. Um, but when, when you are on a spiritual path it can be hard because you know we don't have tangible proof of a lot of these things so you know we we kind of go through our lives with this belief like i can believe in something in my heart to be true but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, sorry, I'm like getting the hiccups here. Um, you know, so for me, it's like, I believe that there is a heaven. I believe that there is an afterlife, but there's still a part of me that's like, but wait a second, we don't have proof that that actually exists so how am I supposed to, like, how am I supposed to just be okay with dying? Um, and, you know, it, it, you know, and this is where the topic of, of faith comes into to play. You know, I have a lot of Christian friends and family who will say, you know, it's just about faith. You have to have faith. And I'm like, okay, I have faith, but I'm still terrified. I am still 100% horrified at the thought of dying. The thought of me leaving this body, leaving this world that we are in right now is so scary to me. And it's something that I know so many people are scared of. It's not just me. And, you know, 
I, I think it's unfair of us to put this expectation on spiritual people that they have to be 100% sure of themselves. Nobody, nobody knows for sure. Nobody knows 100%. That's just the fact. That's just the facts. We don't know 100%. Um, and that is where faith comes in. And you have to sort of go, okay, like, you have to rely on your experiences. Um, I have had experiences. Um, I've had supernatural experiences in my life um, that have led me to believe that there is something outside of this world that we are confined to. Um, but that doesn't necessarily make me feel 100% positive that there, that, that about exactly what it is. You know, um, I can believe that there's something, but I can still have my doubts that like, I, I don't know what, I don't know what comes next. Um, and you know, a lot of people would tell me that that's a very unchristian thing to say because as Christians, people expect you to have these, they expect you to have like this, this no, no doubts, but I'm sorry, I'm a Christian and I have doubts. I have doubts every single day. And so the big question here is, right, we have to say, okay, I have doubts. I don't know what's next. I, I, I'm having this anxiety. Every single day I have anxiety. Like I, I wake up and I'm anxious. I'm like, am I going to die today? Is today going to be the day? Um, I have so much anxiety about it. So we have to ask ourselves, okay, we have our doubts and we have our anxiety. What do we do about it? One thing that continues to give me comfort to this day is meditation. And it sounds really corny and it sounds really stupid and it sounds like, you know, you hear it from, you hear it from like mental health professionals. Like if you, you know, they'll talk about mindfulness and blah, 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 blah. It's not what I'm talking about here. You know, for me, I go into my meditation space, which is my sacred space where I have my altar and my statues and my crystals and my incense and my, <laughs> my everything. Um, and I go in there and I put in some earphones, um, and I, and I play some background music and I just sit and I listen. And in those moments, in those times, are the times where I get some of the most interesting revelations. Um, recently I did a meditation and um, God told me that there are things that are trying to get me down. Things that are trying to tear me away from, you know, what my what my goal on this earth is and I and I and I thought about it and I was like you know that just makes sense because the last like two years have been so anxious about death and every single day I get more and more anxious about death and I haven't died yet I'm still here every day the last two years I've been wasting wasting I'm wasting my days being anxious and nothing's nothing's coming of it. I'm still here. I'm still breathing. I'm still talking to you. So it's like, it makes sense that something would try to tear me away from, you know, what, my 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 end goals are um but meditation and prayer are two of the most powerful things that i have found to be useful in my life and i combine meditation and prayer pretty frequently now recently 
over the last couple months. I haven't been praying and meditating as much. And I'm more anxious now than I was before. And I put that together and I go, wow. Yeah, that makes so much sense, you know? Um, but sometimes, you know, sometimes there is no easy answer. You know, we have anxiety and we have stress and we have things that, you know, we have to accept that we don't have the answers to everything. I like having answers to things. And when I don't have the answers to things, it stresses me out and gives me anxiety because I like knowing things. I'm a very logical person. Um, and, you know, I like, I, I like seeing things through like factual evidence. And when, when I don't have the evidence, like I said, I can have the faith, I can have the belief, but there's still part of me that's like, mm, but I don't actually know that that's true. I wish I could offer some kind of magical cure for death anxiety. I wish I could say exactly, you know, how to get over this. If I, if I knew the answers, I would totally do it. I would, I would, I would, I would get over it. I would get rid of it all. But unfortunately I don't have the answers, but I do know what helps for me. Meditation, sitting, listening to what God and the universe has to tell you, listening to what Jesus has to tell you, listening to what, you know, your, your spirit guides have to tell you, listening to what Mother Mary has to tell you, listening to, you know, whoever you listen to, you know, listen, listen closely. Because in those moments of silence, that's when you will get some of the best answers. And no, it does not cure your anxiety. It doesn't cure mine. If it cures yours, well, good for you. <laughs> but it doesn't cure my anxiety. But it does give me something to it does give me something to go off of and a lot of people can say well you know the things that you hear during those moments of meditation and prayer you know that's all just in your head well maybe it is in my head honestly it is in my head you know i was reading when i read the universal christ by richard Rohr. one of the things that he talked about was like how do we think that god talks to us god talks to us through our heads you know, um, it, it, it's <sighs> death anxiety sucks. If you're an anxious person and you are afraid of death, I am right there with you. But we can't live our lives absolutely terrified every single day. We have to, we have to live. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn how to live. But I know this was kind of a rambling ass video, but <laughs> thank you for being here with me today. Um, I appreciate you listening to me. If you struggle with death anxiety too, let me know because I struggle with it all the time and uh, I could use some friends. So uh, let me know what helps you and I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye.